Marginal cost, or MC, is the cost of producing each additional unit. So in this business, it's the cost of producing each additional garden ornament. To calculate marginal cost, we start off with the total cost data provided by Blacker Marker. For instance, to calculate the marginal cost of the 2,000th unit, we do the following. The increase in total cost from number 1999 to the 2,000th unit is 70,000 Rand minus 69,000 Rand 980. So that's 20 Rand. And we do it the same way for the 3,000th unit, the 4,000th, and so on. These calculations are given in the table. Drawing a smooth line, you can see that it first decreases, reaches a minimum, and then increases. It is this U-shape that we must try to explain. Let's look at the relationship between the marginal cost curve and the last two average cost curves, namely average variable cost and average total cost. Notice that when average variable cost and average total cost are falling, marginal cost is lower than both of them. But when average variable and average total costs are rising, the marginal overtakes them. When marginal cost is below our average costs, it's pulling our average cost downward. And when marginal cost, the cost of producing each additional unit, is higher than our average cost, average cost starts to increase. The important thing to notice here, and to remember, is that the marginal cost curve cuts both the average variable cost curves and the average total cost curves at their minimum points. Now that we know how costs change for a business, it's time to explain why it is that the marginal cost of production, that is, the cost to produce one additional unit, first decreases and then increases. To do that, we need to look at what is known as the production function and the law of diminishing returns.